Hello YouTube peoples, this is LTS Crypto. I am going to attempt to explain what is going on with Phantom, why there is uh, this undercurrent of something happening, and and of course I, I you say we're well, just a, a Phantom fanboy. Yes, yes I am, uh, but there are some things that's afoot, afoot. So as you look over here, you'll start seeing, go to Crypto Twitter, which I am loving Crypto Twitter way more than political Twitter and way more than um, <clears throat> normal Twitter, you know. So, um, but as you look, just scrolling through here and you can do a search, this, you know, FBVM, when it when you start seeing this term FVM over and over and over again, and like the development of the FVM has brought with it a realignment of the team philosophy that can be described as moving from the integration of Ethereum code into Go Opera to the innovation of an entirely novel EVM compatible platform. And I'll just say yesterday, that made no sense to me. I mean, I, I kind of knew what it was talking about, but it made no sense to me. And so I was like, well, maybe I need to look it up. Well, what is this FVM? Right, well, let's keep looking. Look, um, Phantom Fire is inexhaustible. Okay. Um, uh, duh, duh, duh. FTM is a thousand times better than, than uh, Solana with FVM. Hmm. Okay. And uh, let's see. Uh, when you go down here, um, hmm. Then you go down to, um, oh, okay, that was just tagged. Um, the implementation of the new versions of, of pre-commit batch and improved replica updates will help build programmable markets along with the launch of FEM. Okay, so it just keeps coming back up, FEM, FEM. FTM will fly fast with the upcoming FVM. Well, why have I not heard about the FVM? Oh, and look, um, something in a foreign language. FEM and some with Filecoin. Okay. Um, and I don't know what language that is either, but FVM. Um, so what is it? What is FVM? Now, if you do a just a, a basic search and you start actually clicking on the, the tags, uh, eventually you come to this phantom virtual machine. And as you look back, uh, some of the original articles, they were the whole premise behind Phantom was that it was was actually making its own virtual machine. So Phantom virtual machine it was not going to be dependent on the Ethereum virtual machine. But that was a selling point of it that the developers of Ethereum can just bring it over to Phantom. Okay, not a problem. Okay, so. So what's the deal? Why is it just popping up now? I really don't know. I really don't know. Let me just, let me take you back. Um, well, first of all, before I leave this, this because this article was from October 9th, 2021. October 9th, 2021. So this is over a year ago. And it's talking about Phantom and smart contracts and the dApps and it says uses advanced directed a cyclic graph dag technology and it says uh this project aims to provide uh, near infinite scalability and instant transactions at nearly zero cost okay they're also working on a high performance virtual machine virtual machine with safe secure smart contracts uh, execution all right, so this was one of the original things brought out about Phantom is that they're working on their own virtual machine and not the EVM. And forever, I, I kept seeing EVM tokens, and I was like, is Ethereum virtual uh, machines? Yeah, it, it, it uses that structure of Ethereum to, to actually do its thing. It uses the structure, which is the purpose of the, the cryptocurrency and the, the blockchain. All right, so, you know, and then you go back and look, the Ethereum virtual machine, the EVM, and, you know, we got this uh, on the Ethereum site. 
with a, this explanation of how to use it. And so you have all these tokens that have to have all these parameters to use the EVM. And basically what it is, is just a bunch of processing power spread out over a whole bunch of computers and they're all doing their, their thing. And it makes a virtual computer that is processing uh, this, this program. All right? You put your product in it and it processes it like a computer. All right? Which brings us back to Phantom. What is so great about Phantom? Well, when you go back to, uh, see this is from May 27th, 2019. And this guy should look familiar. At Andre Kranye. Andre Kranye. He is the one that is a main player at Phantom. And he's also the one that writes all of these articles, or a lot of these articles, that have to do with the, the, the chain. So, and he goes through it, he, he, this introduction, he says that there's inefficiencies. There's inefficiencies in terms of speed, optimiz optimization, and cost. And this trilemma keeps coming up where you have you know security scalability and speed yeah that's right um, so security scalability and speed um, uh, and then uh, and it says op codes have fixed ex execution cost fees causing execution to be prohibitively expensive he's talking about ethereum I'm pretty sure and he says execution cannot be paralyzed parallelized and each consistent participating node must execute the state transition to have the same state outcome. And one of the beauties of Phantom is that it does not require the whole thing to, to be in step with that. Okay, okay, it says we propose an asynchronous, optimized, register-based virtual machine capable of verifiable computing while decoupling the token model to provide a distributed ex execution marketplace with probabilistic payments. All right. So, and I, something I did find interesting about this, instead of, you know, too long getting read, I, I did read it, uh, is that, that one of the ways that they deal with bad actors in this is that they, that if you are found to be a bad actor, you know, you, you place your gas in there and you are a bad actor, they take your money and you get nothing. And so I thought that was interesting about that. Uh, and then, okay, we got our background, the original design of the EVM, that's your Ethereum virtual machine, was to provide a generalized world computer. Uh, well, <clears throat> he goes on and he talks about verifiers and workers and he talks about receipts and histories and blockchain payments. And he talks about probabilistic payment models that allows for trustless, stateless payments that scale with number of tasks, okay? And then he gets into this, and this is where I glazed over, and there's a point. I always glaze over. Well, not always, but a lot of times in this, I glaze over, and I glazed over with this because he gets into the weeds with it. Uh, but it's there. It's on um, medium.com, Phantom Foundation, Phantom Archive, Virtual Machine. You can go look it up and, you know, and look at it. If that stuff interests you, go for it. Go for it. Okay, but anyway, but this was from 2019. So May 27, 2019, Andre Kranje was actually speaking about this virtual machine. Okay, but we're in 2022. Okay. Well, is there, is it about to come out? Is that what is happening? Was it, yeah, I, I think I heard that Andre had left and then now he came back. Is that the problem? All right. Well, uh, you know, it, it, you know, I went through and looked, you know, just basically to understand what Phantom was. And, and Phantom Opera is the environment where the, you know, is, it, Opera is a secure and fast environment to build decentralized applications. So, you know, to build your dApps on. So it's Opera. And <clears throat> when you look over, you know, because I, I tried to find some concrete things, some, some actual concrete things about, well, maybe Phantom has posted, maybe in their groups they've posted, 
that there is you know new code or something like that well there is some things that are that's being said and you know as you look uh, <laughs> look here look at the date October 25th, 2018. This is on GitHub. Virtual Machine by Andre Cronje. Okay. And it says, edited this page on October 25th, 2018. And then two revisions. And in here, he's talking about it. So, I mean, this is something that's been in the works. Um, but where are we at on it? Okay. When you look on some of the, the boards and you know you, you got twitter you got reddit you got the newsletter but in the telegram i actually went into the telegram and of course i you know, when you click on telegram it didn't show up on my my screen but there was actually one of the the admins in there because somebody was asking this same question when is the fem when is the phantom virtual machine coming out and one of the admins said uh no release date yet and that was at 447 today so 447 today today is november 29th i think 2022 today is november late november no release date yet all right so why is it that all of twitter is a erupting in this phantom virtual machine is going to change the world well it is it is it, you know, once they got because that was one of the beautiful things about ethereum is that they had this setup it was like an sdk that you could plug into and put your projects into it, it was it was your you know your developer kit that you could use and when Phantom has this developer kit that it can use, and it's got all that, it's got the trifecta, you know, of, of speed and security and scalability, it, it's going to be fantastic. But when? I don't know. Now, a lot of people might say this is FUD, but it's not. I'm just saying I can't find anything conclusive about it. Maybe there are some leaks coming out, you know. I mean, it's been good for my portfolio that people have been, you know, because I'm very heavy into the Phantom ecosystem. And so I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. But I don't know why. But maybe people will figure it out. It will go back down. <clears throat> and then we can c contribute some, or be filling our bags some more until it finally comes out. So that's really my, my wish. Andre, if you're listening to me, give us another couple of years and some people will hate me for that but i'm still building bags i'm still building bags and it, the the longer we can build bags the the the, the greater the party's going to be when the bulls come running in it's going to be a massive party but we've got to continue to not final financial advice but we've got to continue to keep building these bags doing our research putting things into good quality high value coin and tokens that's what we're to do now and uh phantom virtual machines can be fantastic sure but i don't know when it's going to come out i don't think these people know when it's going to come out if if y'all do let me know if y'all know something that i'm missing let me know i have went through here and i have been looking and looking and, and getting excited about some of this stuff, even though I'm wanting to, for it to wait. But put in the comments, if you have any, any questions, if you have some insight, please let me know. I think I'm up to six subscribers now. Six su su subscribers. I mean, think about that. It's like one at a time. If I keep doing this thing, by the time I'm 80, <laughs> it's going to be awesome gonna be awesome and, uh, and that's coming up pretty quick um another 33 years and i'll take my vitamin take my vitamins gonna make it gonna make it anyway if you have any questions comments put them down below um if you want to know about the next video when it's coming out hit the notification and the bell 
hit the like button if you like it if you don't keep your hands to yourself but uh <clears throat> let me know what you think i will uh, see y'all at the next video i'm lts crypto see ya